So, you're doing Mr. Pandaria Remix and you run out of things to do. You got all the gear. You got all the bronze. You bought every mount. You bought every transmog. You bought every toy. You've done it all. And you're just looking for something to do besides just getting more strong. So, what do you do? You can work on the Proving Grounds achievements. There's a little Easter egg in Remix that makes the Proving Grounds significantly easier to do than what they typically are. Now, if you don't know, Proving Grounds are a scenario Greetings. that you queue where you test your skill as a tank, DPS, or healer and you can earn achievements for it. I've got the original Proving Yourself achievements from back in the day, the original uh, Endless Tank and Endless Damage. I didn't do Endless Healer because I've played a warrior and only a warrior for years now, so obviously I was going to do Healer. But you can see the original achievements here and they give you a title, the Proven Defender. Those achievements still exist now. There's new versions of them. And you can do them now, here, easier than ever. Greetings. But I already did, because for the purpose of the video, it doesn't make sense to have all the early stages. I already did damage tank and healer on both bronze and silver, and I did all three of them in, sil in silver and bronze in tank spec. Just to put into perspective, that means I even did a healer challenge in silver as a tank, which is kind of annoying if you think about it. But anyways, why this is easier in Remix? For one, they disable all the tinkers. So you can't, none of these tinkers are enabled here, none of these gems are enabled here. All gems and tinkers and meta are disabled. But what isn't disabled? Time Runner's Advantage. So that means I still have 124% crit, 129% haste, 116% versatility, 201% mastery. Obviously, these stats will differ based on spec because, as well had just published, all the max. Uh, stats for these is actually 126 but then it can be inflated by passive masteries or skills such as into the fray and whatnot now i have potential to get more stats like with all the gems disabled i can tell you my haste is not maxed as a part warrior my haste actually maxes around 156 and my versatility ma uh maxes out at like well 126 is where it ma max out because i have no passive versatility without the Tinkers. But the point is, even with these stats not maxed out yet, this is absolutely trivial. I have 10 million health. Every hit I do is a crit. A ridiculous haste that like I'm under the power of like double heroism at all times, or bloodlust for your horde players. But these I just did today. And I'm just going to show you how easy it is to even get the feat of strength. For doing it in the wrong spec. I'm about to do a gold in the wrong spec and easily, and I mean easily, get the feat of strength. I'm gonna start damage gold. Prepare yourself. I am a tank. Difficult illusion. That's probably the easiest one to do. Before time expires and success will be yours. Or if you're damaged, just do the tank one. Same thing, same difference. The only problem with this is you actually have to wait forever for the next wave because there's no gong to bring the next mo mobs early. Now, in this video, I'll fast forward. Like, you're going to see me go from wave one and suddenly I'm going to be on wave nine. But, like, well, no, I might not cut that many waves out, but I'll cut some waves out. Ah, the illusionary banana tosser. It will rapidly toss bananas toward you. Move oh, will it now? It'll rapidly toss bananas. Running away from you, if you can. Did you realize it died before you even started talking, right? I'm still bursting for like almost 5 million DPS with zero tinkers. So obviously my cloak's more powered up than most of yours might be. But the point is, it should still be significantly easier, even if your cloak's not super juiced, because this is tuned for you having no cloak at all. It's literally just tuned for you to go in here with zero stats. So anything higher than zero is an advantage. What I'll probably do is keep killing all the waves in here, but I will uh, cut the weight. Oh 
Oh no. What am I gonna do? An illusionary banshee. Kill it quickly before it explodes. I don't think that's gonna be a problem. I don't think it's gonna explode. Target change. I remember writing this DBM module for this uh, back to I missed the Pandaria. It was helpful. I more saw for the healer challenge than anything else. Because it would catch those dispels that you need to do like that. The Halo Chance is probably, uh, probably the one that's hard to uh, strong arm through as the wrong spec, because a healer, it's a joke. Because obviously you're going to be juiced too. You're going to have so much haste and uh, mastery and crit that your heals are going to be godly. But like, I tried doing healer as a tank, and it's still annoying because the NPCs taunt off you frequently, they get debuffs frequently, and the NPCs aren't juiced, and I can't heal them as a prot warrior. So I wouldn't even be able to do healer endless. Even this juiced up because the NPCs would all die. Well before I got the wave 30. Target change. Oh, the illusionary Shah. Save your strongest attacks for when its barrier falls, leaving it exposed. Uh-huh. Its barrier? The one that I'm DPSing through? When is the barrier gonna fall? It doesn't matter. All right, a new shot. Let's actually throw a cooldown down because the barrier's annoying. There. Thunderous roar casually for five million on a mob that takes significantly reduced damage. Yep. Target. Oh, and I forgot to point out. All the scrolls in here work. I haven't even done raid buffs yet. Let me put those up. Yes, the scrolls do work. Now I'll do even more damage. So like I said, I definitely I have not been hyper min maxing here. And look how trivial this is. I can almost guarantee Blizzard fixes uh, this by what well, they'll do is disable the cloak in here. You're probably okay with the gear, as long as you're not juiced up by the cloak, because the cloak is pretty much the problem. If I recall, these mobs actually have eye level scaling, so they should be scaling to the gear anyway. Must be one more mob wave. Achievement will pop the second the uh, last mobs are dead. Then after this is the endless mode achievements. That's what actually gives the titles. This gives a feat of strength for doing it in the wrong spec, but you do tank endless, healer endless, and DPS endless to get the proving assailant. You know, the proven tank. Change. Or the proven defender, I think it is. And the proven healer, maybe? I don't know. Ah, well done. Yep. There's the achievements. You're really doing it wrong. That's the feat of strength. We're doing any gold challenge in the wrong spec. But basically, if you can do gold this easily, you can do endless. I don't really need to show you a video doing endless. I'm going to do it out of video because it's, it's always fun to shit on content. But you get the point. Go do this now before they fix it. Thanks for watching.